Prior to the arrival of Dr. Nyansi, a group of students from Makere University were arrested as they marched to the Buganda Road Court in Kampala in protest over her detention. Dr. Stella Nyanzi looked visibly ill and was supported by two prison officers. <laughs> Nyanzi made her application for bail before Chief Magistrate James Eremia through her lawyers, led by Nicholas Opio. It would only be proper for us to get full and proper instructions from her when she's out of detention to enable us to have a meaningful and thorough response to the application. The resident state attorney, Jonathan Muwaganya, did not oppose bail, but maintained that the state was still interested in pursuing the application to have Nyanzi's mental health status ascertained. That we still hold that very strong belief that the applicant has a health problem. <laughs> which she cannot on her own manage. The magistrate adjourned the court to make his decision. Oh Nyangzi was granted bail to allow her to avail her lawyer's material concerning her medical history. She was also ordered to deposit her passport with court and asked to respect the subjudice rule by not discussing the case in the media. The magistrate also warned the media against flouting the same rule. And advised the press that you shall not make anything for publication or anything that shall be deemed prejudicial and the contrary to the judicial. You are free to report other things. Dr. Nyanzi returns to court on 25th May for the disposal of government's application to have her mental status ascertained. She was arrested in April and charged with cyber harassment and computer misuse stemming from a series of social media posts that were highly critical of President Yuri Museveni. She is specifically charged with allegedly referring to the person of the president as a pair of buttocks. <laughs>